Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Woo. Welcome back to another Division 2 build. And today, this is an outside of the box Woo build for you guys. And it's something I've put together the last couple of days. I've been using in PvE. And as you can see in the gameplay, this hits very, very hard. You can spam your headshots. You have a really good, healthy amount of damage to elites. And it utilizes many perfect talents that, all in all, give you extra damage and extra healing. Take a look. This build, yes, is completely different to what I'm used to doing, and I've had so much fun rolling with this build. It is it is insane for solo content, challenging missions. You are laughing all the way to the bank with this build. If you don't enjoy spamming skills, then this is something I recommend you test out. And in terms of the gear, before anyone states anything, in terms of the gear, the perfect items I've had on this build are all from PvE content, PvE drops. So no DZ shit, no, this is a PvE solo build. Let's do this. Hey guys, yes, Clint Flair Woo here, back once again, like the Renegade Master, with another Woo build. And this is a silly, crazy, insane build that I've put together for PvE. Um, I have changed a few pieces before anybody asked the question. I have changed a number of pieces around testers in PvP, and it does hit very hard. Yes, it's, it really does. However, the way that PvP is at the minute, you know, conflict especially, conflict is a shit show in all honesty. Um, so I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't really want to showcase any PvP with this build. No, because I'm, I'm a bit squishy. But with this, for PvE, it is superb. Let's take a look at this Woo build. Guys, first and foremost, I am rolling with the Gunner Specialization. You have two options how to roll with this build, in my honest opinion. Well, scratch that, make it free. Now you have the Gunner Specialization, you have the shop shooter specialization or the demolitionist specialization. And there's a number of factors why you can roll with each one. Now, if you look at the shop shooter specialization, uh, you will get the extra stability and the extra headshot damage through the spec. So that's a good idea. That's something you can roll with. Um, or you can roll with a demolitionist for the explosive damage you need on the build that does help and generates a bit more damage towards NPCs. Or. Yes, or you can roll with the Gunner Specialization. And I'm using that just to booster and harness as much armor on kill and headshot as possible. So, Gunner, I've gone for you, bad boy. And also, I like the reload speed on my primary weapon. Let's take a look at this build. Yes, guys, I'm rolling with 11 offensive stats, 3 defensive, and 1 utility. And again, I'm just trying to harness as much DPS as I can at the build. And as you go through piece by piece, you can see how it synergizes with the build. Now, my primary damage on my primary weapon, which I'll we'll talk about at the end, is 46.8k. The RPM is 320. My armor is 255k. My health is 27.1k, which is a little bit low. Yes, I know. I know, guys. And the skill power is 74 yeah, a lowly 74, which is about 2,900 and a lot away from where I usually sit. So yes, I do feel really dirty rolling this build, but it's a lot of fun. It's like a guilty pleasure. But anyway, we'll start with a mask. I'm rolling with an Overlord Armaments mask, which grants me that 10% rifle damage, which is integral to the build. 7.5% armor, 10% hazard protection, 35% damage to elites, and the talent hard hitting. Now, before anyone adds anything or any input to this video, what I do want to say and do want to stress is that 35% damage to elites is not a good roll. It is a below par roll. We all know that if you farm, if you farm for mask or a, or a Roldy Holdings mask, whatever it may be, I don't care. But if you farm for these masks, you will get a much better roll. My RNG is shit. Period. It really is. I have farmed for hours and hours and hours for a better damage to elites mask. And the best I have, which is used on a different build, is 42%. 
That is the most I've got. So if anyone does have any that they can pop in a post to me, pop on a postcard, whatever, let me know in the comments section. I'm not taking the piss, okay? But generally, if you if you have one, please gloat in the comments section and I will send you some abuse, but some nice abuse. But there you go, guys. So you can see this mask can be a shitload better. And again, this is just a template. You can generate quite easily in a 10% DTE from the attribute, and that is aced. And that's a lot of extra damage against elite enemies. So bear that in mind, guys. The chest piece. The chest piece is a Roldy Holdings, which is 10% accuracy, 10% headshot damage, and some sexy rolls here. I've got 15% weapon damage. Nice. 17.5% critic chance, and you need to develop a lot of crit on this build to really get the most from it. And the talent, perfect vigilance. Gain plus 30% weapon damage. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. Simple. With this build, sit in cover and aim for the head consistently and you will be repaired and I'll explain why shortly but you'll get that 30% weapon damage buff that's nice on any build that is really nice and in a build where you will be primarily in cover then yes that is going to be a, a pretty much instantaneous or a constant tick of damage output so yes guys something to really bear in mind is this is insane on a rifle build in terms of the offensive mod, is weapon damage, LMG damage, rifle damage, armor, explosive resistance, and total armor. The holster. The holster is the Richter and Kaiser holster, which is 10% hazard protection, which is nice. I'll take that. 12% critical hit chance, 5% weapon damage, and that's from devastating talent, which is, again, it's all damage. I like it. And in terms of the mod, it is weapon damage, LMG damage, and rifle damage damage and that hazard protection does help because i'm a squishy mofo and then i got 10 percent as an attribute on the overlord armaments mask so that's 20 percent hazard protection in total not a great deal but it does help now in terms of the knee pads the knee pads are overlord armaments the second piece eight and a half percent critical hit chance the max is nine percent my ad so that's a really good roll on this the talent perfectly entrenched Headshots from cover repair 15% of your armor, and you require a rifle or a marksman rifle to be drawn. Yes, guys, so that's pretty cool. Come on. You know, when you're in cover, if you are accurate, if you have better aim than me, then happy days. You will consistently be buffing your armor by 15%. And on this, if we just do a quick bit of math, so 255k, say 10% is, yep, 25.5k, and then 15% is about 38k per headshot. In return so all you have to do guys is spam a couple head shops and you will get 100k back in armor in no time so that's something to really really bear in mind when it wants processing this build the more accurate you are with headshots the quicker yes the quicker your health will return Str sorry strats health armor your armor will return which is awesome and then you have again this is why i'm using the gunner specialization simply because of that 10 percent armor on kill which does help does help that's another 25k armor on top of that so that's nice it's nice to have on the build defensive mob mod is weapon damage lmg damage and rifle damage and with this if you wanted to go away from the factors you want take away entrenched then look at concussion for that extra 10 percent damage and cover now that is a quality quality talent and again on the mask you could go for something like uh, centered which will give you the extra headshot damage or perfect concussion you know guys so look, what have i got here composure sorry sorry i'm awful at this composure one cover grants plus 10 percent total weapon damage that's something to bear in mind on the build that's something that can be really really strong and once I get a perfect one of these, expect a build with that on. So in terms of the knee pads, composure will be a really good talent to have. You're looking at that raw, raw kick-ass damage. And the mask, you would want something like this. Perfect concussion. But I don't have the best roll, as you can see. I want more damage. I want damage to leave some crit on there. So yes, I'm going to get my ass back farming to get a better one. But yeah, something to bear in mind. Again, of just little ideas and planting a seed, how you can get this build even stronger the gloves the gloves are a rolly holdings again again that's that accuracy and headshot damage i have 12 percent rifle damage on there which is tasty and the talent wicked 
when you apply a status effect, gain plus 15% weapon damage for 20 seconds. And that's nice. And again, I use this in a very strategic fashion. So with this, I look at what status effects I can create whilst playing the game against NPCs, whether it's being solo or a, or a team. So you look for barrels. You look for barrels to create explosions. And once you create explosions, you create status effects with fire. So that's something to really, really bear in mind. And obviously one of my skills is a skill that does leave a status effect, and then which in turn will proc Wicked. So that's 20 seconds I will have that extra 15% weapon damage. So something to really bear in mind is in terms of how you're going to create these status effects and just look at the environment, how you can create, create this, and also maybe a grenade that creates the burn. Just think logically what you can do to just infuse this consistently so it is consistently up buffing your rifle. And then finally the backpack. The backpack is strategic alignment. Yes, it's another perfect piece. It's 10% explosive damage. It's part of the Childlight Industries Corporation. And my critic chance is 7%. My armor is 9030. My weapon damage is 11%. So you can see where I've gone on this build. Now, it has the attribute or the talent perfect spark. Damaging enemies with skills or explosives grant plus 20% weapon damage for 15 seconds. Again, this can be consistently buffed. Again, as I've said in terms of Wicked, look at explosives on the map. Anything that can create an explosion that, that can cause an enemy to be on fire or exploded, then it will buff or proc this talent. Once it's procced, there's the extra 20% weapon damage. Easy. Simple as that. And also, you want to be rolling with a skill that can consistently buff this. Yes, my skill power is atrocious, and I do feel quite dirty rolling with this, but I wanted a skill, which we'll see shortly, that will be consistently, or will be buffing, or be doing damage over time, um, over a good period. And again, that's something I wanted to keep procking this bad boy. So Perfect Spark is awesome on this build. And Hardened, which is 15% armor. You could roll with, say, Destructive for the extra explosive damage if you wanted to. I wanted to be a little bit more, uh, well, I wanted the survivability a little bit higher. 255k is a little bit on the low side, but still, um, I'm kind of happy where it is. We can increase this a little bit more, but still, I wanted 255 as a bare minimum, and I'm there. The utility mod is Skill Power. Reload speed, which is decent, and explosive damage. And again, that's nice. That gives my Seekers a little bit more of a tick than anything else. It's more it's more of a fondle than anything else. But still, add that to the 10% from explosive damage, Chan Light. Then again, it does an okay amount of damage, given no mods will work with 74 skill power. Okay, so we've seen the gear. Let's take a look at the weapons. My primary weapon is... A perfect weapon, and that is the artist tool. Now, this is based on the 6716 CQB, and it is a very nice rifle to use. And again, very accurate, and it does offer some decent damage by the talents provided. So, uh, it's a hyena's weapon, so to speak. So, I've got my little hyena uh, thing on the, in the background. Yeah, that's me. Uh, you call it war, we call it art, the hyenas. So, perfect rifleman. Now, with this, you need four or less defensive stats, and that's, again, why I'm rolling with three. To get that definite, definite perfect rifleman procking, so I do want this damage. Now, landing headshots adds a stack of bonus of 12% weapon damage for five seconds. Max stack is five. Additional headshots refresh the duration. Again, that's pretty decent. Again, you think of extra damage, you're, you're spamming headshots, you will... Garner this bonus, that's for sure. And that is really, really good. Really good. So you got 12, 24, 36, 48, 60% extra weapon damage. That's nice. I'll take that. Distance, optimal range. Perfect. Don't need to change that. Uh, that makes me hit the same with 15% longer. So I, I like that. I like the range on the build and on the weapon. Double duty. While well holstered, reloading from empty gives you a 20% of your magazine back as free ammo. Can occur once every 30 seconds. This is a holster talent, so this means diddly squat on the build. The mods. Accuracy. Headshot damage, 7%. And critical hit chance of 5%. 
If you're running with a demolition specialization, you can use this small laser pointer and that gives you 7% critical hit chance. Now my secondary is a P90. Now I again I don't use this and why I've equipped is because of the holster talent which is protected reload. While equipped, this weapon grants 10% bonus armor while reloading. That 10% bonus armor does help. That's an extra extra 25k. Especially given how squishy, well, how soft I am. It's nice to have that little bit extra bonus armor. And that's why I'm rolling with that. You can roll with a bit of weapon handling or stop, drop, and roll. Uh, to, again, to kind of mitigate many um, hazard materials that drop at your feet. You know, so you have options how to roll with this. I've just opted for protected reload just to give an extra bit of armor. And my... Holstered uh, talent on the 93R is in Riven while equipped. Enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns. Can occur once every 60 seconds. Given how appalling my skills are, and they are appalling in terms of uh, skill haste and uh, the damage to a degree, it's nice to have this in tow. So if I do, do have a skill kill, there's a chance of me getting those skills back instantly. And that's nice to have given... In terms of the skills, all they're doing is just buffing my weapon. Simple as that. But to have this in tow as well, it does help from time to time. Now the skills. The creme de la creme of the build, as they say. So, Striker Drone. Why have I opted for that? I've opted for that simply because, again, of the damage it does. And it's minimal damage, don't get me, don't get me wrong. 1895 is appalling, as you can see. There's no mods. It was on a different fixer slot, this was. So, don't worry about those whatsoever, because they mean diddly. What I'm talking about is the, the tick, the tick that it offers. And you can switch to different NPCs. And also, again, it procs Perfect Spark because you're dealing damage with your skills. So Perfect Spark is up longer. Simple. So that's nice to have. So nice to have skill to use. So I've opted for the Striker Drone. I think it's a nice talent to use. Now, my... Primary skill is the Seeker Mine, which is the Explosive Seeker. And I'm using that because of the bleed. It's as simple as that. Again, the status effect. Um, once, once that's up and running, happy days, wicked procced. I'm in a good place to deal even more damage. You know, you look in the damage from, from Perfect Spark, the damage from Wicked, the damage from Vigilance. Um, yeah, and obviously you've got Perfect Rifleman on your um, rifle. You are laughing away to the bank. So you can stack a huge wedge of damage on this build. By just utilising your skills. And again the skills aren't very great. But they, they have a purpose. And the purpose is to just feed into my primary weapon. And as you can see. None of these bad boys mods are active. Because my skill power is. yeah, Dirty word. Low. Now. They're the skills. We've seen the weapons. Let's take a look at the stats. To see how hard this hits. And I'll do a quick demonstration. In terms of the damage. So my weapon damage on this is 46,807, which is decent. PvP is 30,892, if you want to take the artist tool into PvP. Now, my critic chance is 50%. My critic damage is 40%. My headshot damage is 77%. I have a 69 meter range, and that's nice. A reload time of 2.2 seconds, but we know with the gunner specialization, there is the uh, quicker reload as one of the perks. The reload speed bonus is 3.5%, and that's due to one of my utility mods, or the only one. Uh, accuracy is 20%. My all weapons damage bonus is 34%. My rifle damage bonus is 46%. And you've seen my mods, guys. They're 3% mods. You know, I have 3 times 3. That's 9% extra mods. Whereas we know if you have an extra couple of percent on there, you're going to deal a lot more damage on this build. So you can see the template, the foundation is here to have this build to be absolutely insane for PvE. And for me, it works an absolute dream. It genuinely does. So this is really, really strong. Damage elite 60%. Again, it just can be kicked on even further, this build. It genuinely can. And it's really good as it is. I mean, really, really good. So 60% damage to elites. You know we can get that to 75 quite easily. Explosive damage is 13.5%. Again, these are the talents that are active. My arm is 25,000. Armor on kill again is 25,504. Sorry, that is due to the gunner specialization. I've got a little bit of hazard protection on there as well, which is 20%. And skill haste, look at that. Can you get 0% skill haste? Yes, I can. Uh, Go down 60 seconds. Yeah, it is what it is. I don't care. You know, this is about dealing damage. 
and that's what this build does in abundance. So let's take a look in terms of the damage, what it can do, and then I'll show you how, how to work Perfect Rifleman and how it benefits you on this build. So first I'm going to get in the cover. You can see from the stats or from the hood that Perfect Vigilance is active. Now let's look at Perfect Rifleman. And we just take a look and we're going to aim and see what it's got zero just there and there'll be an arrow on the screen showing you watch this there's your first stack second third fourth you can see my potato aim is amazing and the headshots again with you know 243 is not bad not bad indeed and you see it's gone that's it so it will last you five seconds Get that headshot, and again, that will just continuously buff until you get to five seconds. And there's that five second wait. Once that five seconds are over, we'll leave it to go now. You can see that goes back. Body shots don't do diddly, you have to have the headshot. And the good thing with this build, and again, I'll just spam a couple of headshots so you can see there's a nice RPM on this build, so you can easily take down NPCs quite easily and quickly as well and that's what I like about using this particular weapon I and mean, there is no weapon I was utilizing as well which I'll use in a different build video that deals some really crazy damage um, but of much slower RPM it doesn't bode well with perfect perfect entrenched because you need uh, to spam those headshots to get your arm back quickly and efficiently uh, with a, again a lower RPM weapon that has a lot more punch Perfect trends it, it really makes it useless, in my opinion. Uh, you don't see the benefit. Then you'd rather go for concussion. Or is it composure? Composure, that's the one. You'd, you'd rather that 10% weapon damage when you're in cover. So, Perfect Entrench works a dream with weapons that are, again, high RPM. Easily. Let's take a look. So you see there, Wicked is propped as well. So again, it's just some nice, nice damage on this build. Really nice. You get your headshots in tow. And look at my potato aim. You know, uh, once you get the, potato, the good old potato aim sorted, you are absolutely rinsing NPCs from a distance with this. And this, this build can only be bettered. It genuinely can. But there you go, guys. This is my artist tool build, which is the perfect rifleman build for PvE. It's crazy. It's insane. Uh, and it can be pushed to another level with your grinding and better RNG than me. I'm sure you sure you can. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash the like button. If you want to see more Division 2 content, and just smash even harder the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.